you can use specific microbes to combat specific pests. And that's probably my favorite, my favorite thing um, is just knowing how, how amazing these little microbes are at doing specific things. So uh, for instance, like Bavaria bassiana is a really popular one. Um, I really like Isar Isaria fumosa rosea. Um, the issue with these biocontrols so those two are types of fungus, fungal spores that you can inoculate, spray on your plant, and they're going to sporulate and infect pests, and then the pests will die. Now, the issue we have with that is that they need to be applied in a specific way. It's typically at a, a like 80% relative humidity between 70 and 80 degrees so that it's the right parameter for that fungus to grow. And so a lot of people won't have success with it because you know, they're just putting it in a 62 degree water or whatever, and then just spraying it and be like, oh, what, what's going on? Um, so you need to have that knowledge. That's that ecological gardening to understand how species interact with one another, what kind of environment do they need to thrive in, and then understand the mode of action. So like the Isaria famosa rosea, which is a strain that's in like Ancora, PFR 97, no fly. Um, it really it's very particular of the environment that it needs to to grow and it needs at least two weeks. So if you have an aphid infestation, which aphids are born with four to 12 live young without having sex, they're asexual reproducers. So you are, that's two weeks, 14 times four to 12 per day. Your infestation is out of control at that point, right? You can't wait around for a zombie fungus spore to kill and all, it's just not gonna work. So then you think about like, okay, I've got my beneficials around. That's one layer of integrated pest management. I can use a biocontrol, but I really want to knock it back. So that's when you would use perhaps a uh, chemical, right? The three pillars of IPM are cultural, biological, and chemical. Cultural being your practice as the gardener. So that's, you know, not coming into your garden with dirty clothes from visiting your friend's garden or using dirty tools or, um, you know, how you're, you're observing your garden, you know, are you deleafing? Are you looking for insects? Are you doing these things? This is your first layer of defense. How are you raising your garden? Is it healthy? Um, are you overfeeding nitrogen? That's all that cultural. And then the biological is the companion planting, the beneficial insects, the microbes that you're inoculating with um, under either underground or spraying, applying it as a foliar. Um, and then chemical is like a last resort, right? Um, but sometimes we need to use it. And so like for vegetative phase, I go for neem. This clip was brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrowIt15 to save on any of their gardening products.